Good morning, everybody. We are in our main cow barn right now, standing in our drive-through feed alley, which is just where we drive through with the feed wagon to dump the feed in front of the groups here. But um, the Laley Juno, we've been getting it up and going again, and it's been struggling a little bit right where this crossover is for the group. So right here is where group one crosses over, goes through group two up into the parlor over there and the holding area. And uh, the Juno has been struggling a little bit because the concrete lip here, there's a little bit of a, a bump for it to go over. It's not completely smooth. And the Juno, if it's a little bit moist here, kind of slips, it gets a bit hung up. The wheels aren't made for uh, all terrain, I guess. Although it is pretty impressive what that thing will go through. Um, it's not gonna get up this much of a lip of concrete, so. I got the angle grinder here this morning and we're just gonna smooth it out. We're gonna make it a lot easier for that Juno to get over that lip on both sides. So right there, we're gonna be grinding it. And right here, the Juno comes from there. So there is a lip there, but it's coming off of the lip. So it's not really struggling at all there. It's just where it's kind of trying to climb up and um, get up onto this smoother area here. So we got the angle grinder. We're gonna be grinding it flat some protective gear, some goggles, and some uh, earplugs, whatever you call these. So we got the big corded uh, angle grinder here. It's got a big disc on there. You got skinnier discs and those are for cutting through metal. And this is a big wide one so we can grind through some concrete with this thing. So uh, we're gonna get this extension cord hooked up, put on this protective gear and have at it. Ladies are probably gonna get a little bit spooked as soon as I start grinding, so uh, try try start off super easy. This is looking already a lot better just after a couple minutes of grinding. That lip is almost gone completely, so should make it a lot easier for the Juno. Cows don't mind at all. A lot of them were in the barn here when this barn was being built and when stuff was being installed, so they're used to a bit of noise, I guess. Doesn't seem to bug them one bit. I also went and grabbed one of these face masks because uh, concrete dust is not something you want in your lungs apparently. So kind of noticed that pretty quick there, grabbed one right away. So we got the ledge over there finished off. Uh, that one was quite a bit less than this. This one's gonna take quite a bit more time. It's just got a bigger lip on there. Pitter patter. This morning, I'm just following Dima around as he's feeding the milk cows, just for one batch, just to make sure that he's doing everything the same as the other guys that are feeding. So Costa feeds as well. So that's two guys, and then I feed the odd load as well. So that's three guys that are feeding and mixing up batches for the milk cows. Now it's extremely, extremely important that every single batch of TMR that is mixed for the milk cows is the exact same. So I'm just following Dima this morning and I'll follow Costa next week. And we're just gonna kind of make sure that everything's the same. I don't think anything's different, but it's better to be safe than sorry. So we're just following Dima around this morning as he feeds the milk cows. These Supreme Feed Mixer Wagons are uh, pretty awesome. They got some seats on here for the person that's riding along. It's pretty, pretty handy. So he just put the first three grains in. Uh, barley grain, pea hulls, and 
some minerals for the milk cows. Now we're heading over to our new dried distiller's grain bin. That's uh, our biggest feed bin by far. We got it this summer and it's been working good for us. So it's that really tall one right there. dump the feed now cows get food uh, everything looked good in that load so the whole idea of me following them around it's just got to be every load the exact same so I don't suspect that anything is off with anyone that feeds I just want to be hundred percent sure that it's all the exact same because it is so important so awesome next week I'll check out Costa and uh, see how he's feeding and then we'll know for sure so they've been feeding for almost Dima's been feeding for about a year and a half and close to eight months or so now, so it's good to check in at least once. <laughs> but I'm gonna finish grinding that cross over there probably this afternoon. Me and my dad are gonna go put bedding in the corrals right now, so I thought I'll have to wait. We have a total of nine corrals out here in our feedlot and the older eight corrals, we all put uh, canola straw in there. Canola straw is, it's pretty good for bedding, but it's not as good as barley straw. And we only have so much barley straw because we don't farm an insane amount of acres of it. So we kind of save that for the straw packs in the calf barn and the main cow barn. And also for Corral 1. It's just a little bit warmer, a little bit fluffier, a little bit more straw to each bale. So these are the youngest little calves out here in the Corrals. So we always save the best bales for them. the straw off that way this thing won't seep down and hit the shop wall once it's uh, parked inside there we go I can probably clean all the net wrap out of those beaters also but yeah it seems like another day's problem milk with Nolene this afternoon <laughs> Come on, ladies. What are you doing pulling down on that milker? She won't empty by herself without the help. Okay, so she's not letting all of her milk go out of some quarters. So you're just pulling down on the milker and that usually helps the rest of the milk come out. It's pretty, pretty funny that that works, eh? Yep, gotta do it every milking. 
<laughs> this girl's got blue legs. We're just marking blue because they're slow milkers. So then we can hang them under first and then hopefully they're done at the same time as everybody else. But you guys can see she's the second last one done anyway. milking in the evening now about 7 30 at night and i'm gonna go ahead and finish grinding this down i kind of procrastinate a little bit and i gotta get it done today so i'm gonna finish it up now before i go home and uh make sure that juno runs over it nicely we got that uh grinded the way i wanted it now so that's good just done for the night you can see decent little bit of wear on this disc was quite a bit bigger when we first started so but still not too bad I'm gonna run that Juno make it do a route and then we'll watch it go over there there we go at night it was actually stopped there and it, it uh, crashed because it couldn't get up that ledge it just couldn't figure out why it was slipping and just hung up there and stopped so it went a lot easier there and that's gonna help this Juno out a bit more it didn't do that often only when it was really uh, moist in the barn maybe it was super moist outside and then it slowly gets more uh, damp inside the barn here and that's maybe why it was slipping and that occasionally did happen so now it's not gonna happen anymore which is awesome guess we'll stay on theme for today's episode following Dima around uh, he's got his own chore that he does once a week just cleaning the water bowls in the main cow barn here so yeah what do you do like cleaning the sheep and all this like like shit no. All the food, all the sand is going inside of the water bowl. Okay, so the cows make it pretty dirty and we just clean them out once a week. Yeah. Like in the summer it's a little bit more of mold inside of the, because it's more hot and bacteria breeding more faster. Oh yeah. So these water bowls just naturally kind of grow a little bit of bacteria over time and uh, cleaning them out once a week keeps them a bit cleaner and then cows will probably drink more water, the cleaner it is. So the more water they drink, the more milk they're gonna produce. So he's just scrubbing all the walls of the water bowl, knocking everything off that's built up on the walls. what's built up or we're kind of cleaning off. Huh? One out of eight. Yes, yeah, so there's eight of these water bowls in the main cow barn here, four on each side. And then the straw packs over there have two for each straw pack. So I guess there's 12 water bowls. So these water bowls do look pretty dirty. Cows do it themselves too. Um, I've seen multiple cows standing with their two front hooves in the water bowl and they're kind of like perched up and they just make them dirty. It's quite a job to stay on top of it and keep the water bowls clean. So 
So these water bowls are held down so that the cows can't like step in there and tip it themselves. So even if you wanted to right now, to pull it over you couldn't. You first gotta pull this uh, pin out here all the way up. And once you have it up, you can use that to kind of crank it over and dump the water bowl. But this thing is what keeps it locked so that the cows can't just tip their water bowl over. And it's happened before where they did somehow still manage to tip it over. And then you come here in the morning and it's kind of halfway tilted and just spilling water out and water out and water out. And then all these alleys are full with water. But um, luckily that doesn't happen so often. So we're at the back of the first group, the fourth water bowl for this side. And uh, Dima's got a pet cow. 6.05. She's waiting for me every time when I'm washing her water bowl. She's waiting. Awesome. Yeah, and she she lets you um, pet her and she follows you around the group, right? Yeah, yeah, you will see in the video. Yeah, she only does that for Dima. She doesn't, she, I tried petting her before too and she doesn't let me pet her, so. Dima's pet. into the next water bowl she's coming wow she's running for you man <laughs> right past me right to Dima man you got fans she's your fan <laughs> yeah <laughs> Anyway guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you enjoyed, be sure to hit those like and subscribe buttons down below. Check out the Instagram and now TikTok at SaskDutchKit. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.